Welcome to my floss tube channel. My name is Kaylee and it's been a while. I apologize. I didn't have a ton of stitching so I thought I'd wait to have a few more whips to show before filming a video and now I have a decent selection so I thought it'd be a good time to make film a video. Um, let's see. So what's been going on? February happened. <laughs> forget it all already. March, March was busy. It was my eldest's birthday. Um, so we had like a family birthday one weekend and then her actual birthday was during the week and her friend, friend party seemed like her birthday was like two weeks. And then Easter, we didn't do a huge thing because again, we just had like 40 people for her birthday. But we went to my cousin's, and that was really nice. We went to my mother-in-law's, and um, the weather's all over the place. Sometimes it's spring, and then there's like inches of snow. I mean, there's a different background. Um, things are getting moved around, so it's going to be this background for a little bit. And, and Stitch North is coming up, so things are being a bit busy getting ready for Stitch North, but let's get into whips. So for February, there was unconventional cross stitch, like work on unconventional cross stitch every day. And I did that. I tried to get all my whips, like put in 1% to all my unconventional cross stitch whips. And I didn't, I didn't get to Peppermint Cthulhu, but I put 1% in all the other ones. So first one is um, Christopher Lovell's Sol Solstice. I am doing the background removed one. <clears throat> and I finally counted hopefully correctly and have gotten to her face a bit and she is gorgeous and that parrot oh yeah this piece is beautiful it doesn't stitch up fast or at least i'm not stitching that fast there's not a lot of block stitching but it is stunning that's solstice i put a one i so i put one percent in on her then i put one percent in on adrian borda's alice in wonderland so like one percent on this one percent on solstice was like 3500 stitches one percent on alice was 6,500 stitches. This one's super wrinkly because I this is the only one I have in a Q snap and I thought maybe I shouldn't keep it in a Q snap. So I counted with this one too and I got to the Mad Hatter. Oh my gosh, how fantastic is that? So the rabbit and there's so many things with this piece you can just like count and go in any direction. Oh, I love it. So yeah, 1% in on this piece. And then I worked on, oh my gosh, yeah, and then this piece, 1% on, um, no place like home, Echo Cherenek. It was like 7,500 stitches. Block, though. This one, the other two had no block stitching. This one, though, was pure block stitching. So it makes it go faster, but sort of I lose focus of it, too. Sorry, of course, or something. Oh, 
What's going on there? Okay. So this, it's a bit hard to see what I'm doing the middle goggles there. So I'm starting in the middle. So yeah, 7,500 stitches in on this. Pretty much all of 3,939. So I'm happy to have gotten 1%. On those because I don't have any plans or goals or anything for these this year so I'm glad I got to work on them and then beauty save the world another Adrian Borda this this one's getting finished in 2025 it's time for her to go on the wall so 1% on this was only um, 1900. I'm already starting to think of frames. So what I believe she's Numibian, I believe. And they do this beautiful, like they put clay in the dreadlocks. And it's like that not like red, brown color. So I'm thinking just a wood Close to that, like a simple wood frame. Nothing else. I want. I don't want to take away at all. So I feel like it's gonna have to get made the frame, and then find glass and all that. So probably need a year to figure that out. Okay. All so. Angie Slowly Crafts and I have been trying to Elise Alicia from I'll link her down below. She came up with the hashtag and it's to work on your oldest whip, oldest whip Wednesday. And Angie and I have been trying. Some forgotten, so that we've been trying. So I have been working on Oceana by Z Anna cross stitch I'm working over here and again I don't have any plans for this one so I'm glad to just be putting in you know every Wednesday if I could put in 200 300 stitches until this whips year comes where I focus on it so this is on 18 count I originally started it as full cross two over two but now I'm doing four oh, no two over one full cross originally but now four over one tent stitch and she smells she needs a wash so badly this is definitely my stinkiest piece so yeah a few thousand by the end of the year I'd be happy with that Because this piece is a three quarter of a million stitches. So she does need some work to be put into her. Okay, I have to um, insert a photo of Polar Bear. I don't have one printed. So this one was supposed to be finished on Boxing Day. And it's still not finished. And I had to frog this whole ear. But I'm focusing, like I'm working on it every month, and I just, I hope he's finished soon. It's funny, because the girlfriend this is for, her eldest son, I did Little Grizzly Bear for, and I got that one done on time. And when my eldest was born, she made Stella this gorgeous stained glass, like mermaid, because Stella's the Pisces, and it's up and everything. And then she was working on the stained glass for Ivy. And it's still not finished. I mean, just was turning four. So I don't feel terrible that the second, her second son's gift is so far behind. It's just, I don't know, the second child, eh? It's a bit, it's a bit rough. So here he is. I haven't even finished. I got so sick of frogging that ear. 28 count. 
needs an iron. Maybe I should put something behind them. For sure. Yo, he's so cute. I need to get him finished. You have to frog such a big chunk of something. It hurts. It hurts. But I started working down here. Just frame them all. He's a little lazy. So I'm hoping by the summer he's finished. I hope it doesn't take like a whole extra year. But you never know. You never know. This little polar bear artwork by Miriam Russo, and hopefully I put up a picture. And again, the next one I have to show you, I have to insert a picture, sorry. <clears throat> they were printed, but my kids got a hold of them. So this one is for uh, my young Ivy, my youngest Christmas present. Artwork is by Gina Fligor. The piece is called And She Lived Happily Ever After. I am, I definitely need a pillow behind this. I am get, working 10% each month until she's finished. Um, you see, now it's so dark. Um, she's on track. Ivy also keeps me on track. She asks me constantly when I'm working on it. So this one is a little bit bigger than Stella's plot twist. So I need to get 6,500 stitches each month on her. Oh, that's better. And I actually have the same frame that Stella had. My kids are, Stella just turned seven, and Ivy's three and a half, and they fight over everything constantly so they need the same frame to avoid any issues there then for Stella I am picked another piece for her this is for 2025 though so this is Pisces by Camilla DeRico I believe her work is fantastic and if you go on her website you can buy a tattoo token and then you know use it for a tattoo or a cross stitch or whatever so that's Pisces <clears throat> I am the tiniest tiniest bit and this needle minder uh, Stella came to Stitch North last year just for a little bit, and Allie from my Spit Stitches bought her little needle minder. Oh, I have a cough. <coughs> All right, so that, yeah, tiny start, but that's not until 2025. So those are all of the whips I worked on. April is a little bit up in the air what I'm going to work on. It's like Stitch North is in three weeks. That is crazy. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Um, <laughs> yeah, but it's crazy getting everything ready for Stitch North. Um, so I thought I would do a bit of shop talk, but of course I forgot what I want to show. So I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. So um, in the shop, I was wanting to do some like fabrics and project bag themes because I had seen on like Instagram or wherever, um, like this is 20 years old and this is 30 years old and you're like, holy moly, like Nightmare Before Christmas, 30 years old, Lord of the Rings, 20, Jurassic Park, 30. I don't even know how old Super Mario is. That kind of stuff. Pokemon. So I just thought it might be fun to have some fabric because I definitely seen some like lots of charts out. Um, some fabric that was with those themes. Um, so Lord of the Rings fabric is in the shop. There's four different colors. 
and basically like four different colors and the ring is like painted in fabric paint on the outside um, so you can stitch inside the ring and I don't know what this lighting let's see okay so I need to iron this but so there's sizes um, like 12 inch by 12 inch all the way up to 50 by 50 this way no it's too dark I have to figure out the lighting here oh, oh. And uh, yeah, so those are up, but the Lord of the Rings project bags aren't up yet. And then the other one, and then my Nightmare Before Christmas, the idea started to finally come together. It's not up in the shop yet, but coming soon in project bags. I'm going to do the skull, his face, and on like black fabric or like the paler background and also I want to do fabric that is the like that mountain like curly thing and then project bags that are going to be like Sally's patchwork outfit and then burlap with like bugs inside this was I did a brainstorming session um, <clears throat> with Nightmare Before Stitch Mess. Thank you so much for that. Got the juices flowing. I ha I know I want to do something for, I'd love to do something for Jurassic Park, but I have absolutely no idea. Like maybe a T-Rex footprint. And then I'd like, ooh, actually that might, that might be cool. I'd like to do something for Super, Super Mario. And I'd like to do something Pokemon y. But if anyone else has any ideas, let me know. I'd love to know. It's fun. It's fun thinking about all these. Um do I have goals? No. Uh not in April. May we're definitely doing uh, Max and Gad's May. So I will be working on Catalina. And yeah, I don't, I don't have any other goals. Um, so anyone coming to Stitch North, I can't wait to see everyone. I'm hoping to film, if I can remember, to like film a little bit or something. So many people are coming, I can't wait to see everybody. Hopefully the weather's nice. You can't even remotely guess what the weather will be like at the end of April. But I can't wait. I hope everyone has a fantastic April. Hopefully I put another video out this month. Fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, everyone, happy, happy stitching. And we will see you soon. Thank you. Bye. Hi. I had totally forgotten. See, it's been so long. And I was cleaning up and I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot to do the mentions. Yeah, it's been too long. So some uh, floss tube recommendations and some Instagram recommendations. I have notes that I'll be reading. These names are hard to remember. Okay, Instagram, the.xstitchup. I'll link, I'll put all this down below. So she kept me company uh, for unconventional cross 28 or 29. The hashtag both hashtags existed we stitched on unconventional all of february lives in australia she has some great whips um right the is it roman mask with the rainbow faux hawk is amazing i'm loving that one amy.k.gram she has a lot of finishes if you like seeing finishes which i like i don't often have very many at all but it is nice to see people finishing up projects and also so much color it's like when you click click on her instagram profile it's just very colorful and then autumn dot stitches she has full coverage non-full coverage full coverage i think right now they're christmasy so that's lovely and um but she doesn't just have full coverage oh she's also doing the quaker flag and I'm loving seeing everyone's Quaker flag. I don't know if I would ever do it, but I'm loving it. 
<laughs> loving seeing it. Okay, so there's so those. And then YouTube, Wicked Cat Stitch. She only has 1.5 videos up at the moment. They, she's funny. She's very funny. If you want a good chuckle, see some really pretty whips. She's doing her first full coverage. She's got this. Um, Riches underscore get stitches. Uh, she's got beautiful whips, great sewing projects, really fun videos. So I recommend her. Giselle's Garden. They have gorgeous full coverage whips. They're so different. And they have an interesting floss storage um, system. So you might want to check out their videos. I think they have like four up now. And E underscore crafting in Colorado. Beautiful full coverages, lots of selections, and it always makes me laugh because she posted, I think last year, all of this snow. I was like, oh my gosh, where are you located? It's like in her name. Anyways, so great channel. Check them out. Sorry to add this so much later. Hopefully you watch this part. Okay. Thank you. Bye.